This game is rated E10 for ages 10 and up. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, but you can call me KV, and welcome back to the Tears of the Kingdom logs. Last log... I... Yeah, I... Yep, I, I certainly survived that. Okay! Last log. Uh, I already got all the eyes and the, the statue thing underground, so everything's good there. We checked out some more ideas where statues could be potentially located. We also met Peter Pan. His name's Piper. He's right there now. He's playing the, the pipe, the flute, in the band here. The Stable Trotters. And I feel like we did something else. Oh, we did some shrines that I was very bad at. <laughs> Hey, we get to hear their lovely song right now. The opponent's theme and... Oh, he... Oh, so... Okay. So he's like... In a typical orchestration setting. The main melody, it sounds like, is going through the violin. And then the flute is like the second fiddle, so to speak. It's playing... Uh, it's still carrying the melody, but playing a slightly different variation of it. Which I- that's- that's really cool! Okay, so that- that makes it sound really cool. Nice- g nice full sounds. We basically got- we have our lead, second lead, our bass, and percussion. I don't think the horn is meant to be an actual bass instrument, but the function it's serving is definitely of kind of an underlying instrument for the song. And I'm glad that Pass Me Pause here so I can explain this, because it sounds really dang cool! Also, his name is Piper. I, don't, I, I think we've been over that. I hope you're ready for today, because we're in for a doozy of a log if you're looking at the runtime. So I hope you'll stick with me, and I hope I'll stick with me as we get through this, because we're going to have a lot happen today, it looks like. But first, we're just going to stare at the stable charts for a bit. Am I... Am I just thinking, like, oh... Oh! Okay, I know what I'm doing. I don't think it's what past me was initially thinking, but I was wondering if, like, did, did they seriously animate his fingers to actually be, like, in the exact proper uh, position for the notes he's playing? I highly doubt it, but the detail on it does make you question it a little bit. Because I, I can tell that she's not moving her left hand for the strings. So, probably not. Yeah, as for our horn player, the only way I can tell that is that when he's taking a breath, and I don't think they programmed it like that either. But anywho, we have the stable charters now, which means we can go get our final fairy, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh, okay, so, so we were wondering if, like, maybe he had a crush on the girl from the last log, and it looks like the conductor is indeed confirming this. It also seems that he has also had a run-in with love before. The sta Sable Gallopers? But uh, I like, I like, I like Trotters. Trotters sounds fun. Oh, Okay. They're still the Trotters. Okay. Y yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Uh, well, I know she's up there. Yeah, it's, it's alright, we'll figure it out. Okay, well, I have just the perfect solution for you. It is parked right over there. Let me go get it. Aww. 
No, 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 no. It's, it's cool. We, we got this. We got this. All right, so. I thought she was going to start, like, scream singing to the tune of the song. I, that was going to be really funny and cute. But no, it was, it was just a, hey, why are you lifting that thing over my head? Yeah. Interesting, like, how positioned it has to be to make other... Like, I feel like Piper should also be upset about this, but he's apparently not upset. Just, uh, Viola is. I think that's her name. Maybe I don't remember her very well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm taking this. It's mine now. You're not using it. I'm building the best Sable Trotters cart ever. This will get you guys through thick and thin. You don't need to worry about anything else ever again. You will need a driver, though. What? What are you owing about so much? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here making a car, okay? It's a car that carries people. Don't put the, the steering wheel at the very tip. I don't like that. It's aesthetically unpleasing. And also probably dangerous. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Get in. Alright, you ready? I know I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I don't, they don't like it when I move it. With ultra hands, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, everyone, everyone comfy and cozy. Put seatbelts on. He's. Oh, okay. That's a nice camera. <laughs> Just the stick. It is having a hard time right now to turn the camera. <laughs> oh, there's a bacoblin there. Uh, I don't want to talk to the bacoblin. Ah. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, we'll go, we'll go next time. Okay. Well, it's still perfectly fine and safe, it's just the Bokoblin got in the way, and it annoyed me. So I didn't want to get in its way, because I didn't want it to fire at you, because then you'd be like, Oh my gosh, we're on danger still! And then I'd be like, gosh darn it, Bokoblin, get out of here. What are, you, what are you whining about? Stop your whining! Stop that whining! Alright, so let's just go through the rubble road. It may not be a perfect road, but it is still a road. The rubble road. This is the road, it's called the rubble road. It's what happens when it explodes. Now it's not any more rubble road. And I guess that we got there. I don't like Mario Kart Double Dash. Sorry I have to say that right now. But that's where this song is from. Except not this song. This song's different. Wait. The main Zelda theme? Oh, this song is so cool, because I know it's nothing but references to other Zelda music. Like, it has to be that way. Like, I'm hearing bits of, like, the Earth God's lyric. I'm hearing bits of the love theme from Skyward Sword. Like, there that has to be intentional. I'm, I'm not just imagining things, right? And here we go, our final great fairy. <laughs> I love how his hat bounces. All the great fairies are shiny. Because they're awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. 
What? No, 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 I don't, I don't. I literally don't actually need it, but I appreciate it. Oh, her name just is Violin. Okay. Beats. That's, that's a funny name for him. Family cosplay group right here. Stable Trotters. Or just friends. I'm sure the, the short friend can be Piper. I know I'm the short friend for a lot of people. Um, name's Link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe you've heard of, of, of him? Oh? The Stable Heroes! Okay, you know what? I like that. You know what? Triforce Heroes 2, the Stable Heroes. Five player Zelda, but you play as the Stable Trotters and it's a rhythm game. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I still could. I, I don't. What, what, what would you like, ma'am? I have many goods for, for sale here. I can build you a car. Alright, so we need silver bokoblin horns to upgrade our hood all the way. Alright, and these we need some stuff for. Zora Greaves we can actually get to max. Tunic of the Depths, we just got that. Uh, Froggy would actually up that, upgrade that to max in order to get that. Uh, Gleak Wing, oh my gosh, we're going to actually need to fight Gleak if we want to get that uh, upgraded. And Gibdo Wing? I don't even see any Gibdos. Uh, Minor Mask I think we just got recently, so might as well upgrade that. Don't need to see the kiss every single time. Uh, what else? Well, we need Star Fragments for those, so that ain't happening anytime soon. Okay, we need Light Dragon's Talon. Okay, we'll go get look for that later, I suppose. We could upgrade the, the uh, Roots of Divine Helm. I mean, we have all the Divine Helms. I mean, why not upgrade all of them to at least a little bit? Uh, yeah. I'm not using the Zonite for much at the moment, so hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, I, I well, I guess I don't think Octorok eyeballs will use anything else, so might as well upgrade the Yiga Mask just so we have tougher Yiga clothes for when we need to wear Yiga clothes, I guess. Oh, now we need Fire Breath with also his tails. But you know what else needs that? Uh, the Rito stuff. I'd rather get the Rito stuff upgrade first. Alright, here comes our first four-star upgrade. And... yeah. We made another sequel. This one's The Tears of the Kingdom. It takes place many, many, many centuries later. It's about... Link's descendants. And how not all of them related to Zelda. Some of them are related to fairies and they have magical powers. Don't ask how that happens. I mean, you probably just saw how that happens. But we'll pretend that you don't know how that happens. Link's a th Link, like, at this point, I feel is probably just like, man, why can't I be like that one character in Xenoblade 3? You know the one. Not gonna give spoilers for that game, though, so you'll have to play it to see what I mean. Play the Xenoblade games. Play Monolith stuff. They helped work this game. Monolith does amazing stuff. I know they're RPGs and whatnot, but they're still very fun and you should play them. Does that mean you'll show them on the channel, KV? Considering how long this is taking, probably not. 
but you should still play them anyways. All right, so we're just getting an inventory right now of what I need for these. Oh, maybe I should have saved the opal. Oops. Just kind of making a mental note right now of what is all needed in order to upgrade these. So that way, in between logs is when I do material hunting for this kind of stuff. So that will be like my goal between major plot points from here on out. Because now we have access to full upgrades, why not just keep a good idea of everything that is needed. All right, apt and apps. Where to now? There is a pin here. Well, let's go check it out. I think this is another geoglyph that I pinned. Is it the third one in progression, or is it just a random one? I mean, I guess if I put a pin down, it's probably the actual third one in progression, but I don't know 100% for sure. We'll go find out right now, it looks like. Whee! Oh. Oh, I see it. Pass me, do you see it? I see it. Do you, it's right... Pat. Oh. It kind of blends in a little bit. That is fair. And also, I'm following where I put the pin. The pin is right here. Oh, look at this! We got a little parade! I don't like parades. They ruin everything. They don't actually. I just don't like them. Look, if you ever been on a vacation to an amusement park or something, and you're like, man, I want to go here, and then the parade starts up, and it's just like, man, all of the ways of travel are blocked right now because of parade. And you're like, what? Well, they should design, they should design the parks better than that. You're right, they should. But they're not going to. And I, I put a shield on the Master Sword. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be helpful. A giant boulder, on the other hand. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, because I saw someone do this. Whee! Bunk. <laughs> they throw, if they throw rocks, you can recall the rock back to them and have them punch themselves with their own rocks, which is hilarious. And holy crap, Tulin. Thank you very much, my good boy. Oh, Simon's getting some action too. We're all just going out for a free for all right now. Let's do this. Let's throw this at you because I don't like you. <laughs> Thank you. Two. Oh, that was three headshots in a row. Two and ain't messing around. No, I'm, I'm going to at least try to dodge poorly. Hey, 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 you weren't part of the parade. You're just some random dead guy. Get out of here. All right, did we get rid of the... No, we did not. Yeah, hi. Go away. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Anything good? Some horns? Alright. This tree looks suspect. I'm going to examine the tree. Also, I think there's... Is that a Sunda line right there? It must be, because it's by a chunk of Fallen Sky Island. Sunda lines are useful, so let's go get one of those. Oh, they brought this back! You put the apple in the thing, and then the yahaha -ha comes out. I'm gonna be nice and give you a... Okay, well, let's try that again. I'm gonna be nice and give you a special apple. Just for you, Koroks. 
Okay, I'll give you a regular apple. Give you the special apple and you didn't want it? Jerk. Come on, I was going to give you a special apple and everything. Well, whatever, they're my apples now. Goodbye. Well, I'm not seeing any geoglyph. Although I am seeing a lot of uh, friends from the sky. And they'll have stuff I want. And it looks like they also have it. They're guarding a chest. So, yeah, let's beat them up. Why does that have three sight things? I can't take a picture from the air. <laughs> ah, it's a Captain Construct 3. That sounds dangerous. And that's a Soldier Construct 2? Soldier Construct 4. Okay, well, this, uh... I got that one already. Okay, well, Master Sword's out of energy. That's not good. I need a weapon. Yeah. Just... Okay, maybe not that one. I don't know what... There we go. I, I don't know why I, th I threw it. Maybe I was hoping that, like... Oh, to pick something else up. That's why. Okay. Well, this this is working. Ow. That did a lot of damage. Okay, let's be careful. Yeah. Toughness up is a good idea. Hello, you. Yeah, I don't I don't want to don't shoot an arrow at me, please. I would not. And it's about to lightning out. Okay. Cool. Is my shield lightning? Is my bow lightning? No, we're good. We're good on the other things. Okay. And they, of course, are not holding metal weapons, so... Groovy. Here we go again with the shocking. Can I take your stick, please? I want it. No, you can't. You can't fuse it. It's my stick now. Oh, it has increased durability. Also, maybe flame in the middle of rain thunder. Holy cow. Okay, I'm glad that didn't do a lot of damage, but that was scary. Um. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, get the right thing, please. Thank you. Yeah, if I put them in the water, do they just... No, maybe? Go in the water. Go take a bath. There we go. Soldier Construct Four Horn. Zone I charge. All this stuff. Okay, now let's see if I can have him go take a bath in the lake. Him or it or she or them. I don't know what, what pronouns the constructs use. Yeah, no, no, no. You you go go take go take a bath. Please do not shoot me with a bow. Uh, go go take a, no, no 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 bath bath time. <laughs> Woo! And that was pretty dicey, but it all worked out. All thanks to my go take a bath weapon. Time bomb. I mean, it could help, I guess. <laughs> you, you okay there, Tulin? You seem a little riled up. Oh, because he wanted to do the gust, because I, I, I probably had prepped him by spamming attack a lot, and that definitely threw him off. So, whoopsie poopsies there. Like, Ash Projected Tool and Ash Projected Sidon, you guys don't, like, catch anything, right? Oh, that is a problem, because you have 
the clankety clank on. Yeah, Tulin, I got this. Probably. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't know why I thought that would work. It's raining out. Take a bath! Yeah, that's right. You get away from me! I thought there was water there. Oh, okay. I guess Sidon will just stab him. That's fine. Thanks, Sidon. Yeah, and thank you, Tulin. Okay. Thunder subsiding soon? Hopefully? Maybe? Crabs? Crabs. Yay! Okay. We might find that geoglyph, we might not. Oh, you know, I don't I don't want to deal with you guys right now. Just just go away. A lot of enemies out right now. Been a bunch of butts. I mean the rocks kinda look like butts if you think about it. Actually no they don't. I don't know what kind of butts I've looked at. Not a lot, actually. <laughs> I don't look at butts. Not even your own butt? Newsflash! It's very hard for someone to see their own rear. Uh, no geoglyph there. Wait! Geoglyph! There it is! So I saw the core of my eye as we were uh, gliding over here. But past me clearly didn't, and in fairness, it did kind of blend in. This particular, because it's on that type of ground, if it was perfectly sunlight out, it would kind of blend in a little bit. Obviously, not as much if you get closer to it, but from far away, definitely. All right. So this should hopefully be the next in the sequence of our geoglyphs. At least to find out where, okay... That's right there. But first, where is our yahaha? -ha? There's always a yahaha -ha at these places. And wouldn't it be better to see the the thing second after already finding the yahaha? -ha? I think I saw where the yahaha -ha was. Maybe I didn't. I will find the yahaha. -ha. Cause you have the main things right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the yahaha -ha over there, that brown rock. I have a bone. <laughs> All right, thanks. Stop hiding in these geoglyphs, they're not for you. They're for me. Only for me. I forgot to put on my special cutscene viewing clothes. Actually, this isn't too bad. Except I'm wet. That's the Sheikah, that's the, that, or the Pearl Pad, actually, I think. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. Wait, what? I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. It's the construct that held on to it. That was at the the, the greatest silence. Maybe, I don't know. From the future. I never doubted you for a moment. Oh. Minoru, 
Do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Maru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. Okay, that's cool and too. Sonia, she can control time. She As can? For you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. Oh. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... I also like that her little, like, shawl thing is just constantly flowing. There are stories <laughs> about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. Oh? To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one oh. blessed with eternal life. Really? Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. All right. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Okay, so don't do that it. Is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Well, we sure learned a lot. Back where we started. I don't know if it was helpful, but we There's learned still it. Hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. Yeah, I mean, if if Sonia can do it, Sonya would be yeah, 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 yeah. How how does she? How, hmm. Okay. Now I kind of just want a prequel game just playing as Zelda. I'm curious about how Sonia does how controls time, if that is the case. Hello. That hollow sound always gets me. Oh, it's so cool. Alright, was that the next in... Oh, it was. Oh, okay. Feels like we skipped a few steps there, but yeah, yeah that was the next in line of the cutscenes. Alrighty then. Where are we off to from here? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Great, great picture. We're just gonna look at the look at the compendium right now because I, I have these. And I haven't like got rid of all the news yet. And it's gonna bother me until I get rid of all of them. I missed one. Oh, I was trying to find this. Okay, light dragon. Recover materials unknown. A spirit has taken the form of this giant dragon uh, inhabiting the upper reaches of the skies. It is named for its shining golden mane and gleaming scales. It looks divine as it soars through the sky, giving off a soft glow, and its presence comforting somehow. All right. I think past me is starting to connect some dots. I mean, we got the Master Sword already, so some of those dots are... A lot of easier to connect in case, uh, or if if we had not gotten the Master Sword, some of those deaths would have been harder to connect. But I don't think we're I don't think we're fully there yet, so we'll we'll hold off on that for now. Anywho's, where to? Oh, clean out the album, I guess. No. Eh, you know what? We haven't been to the Death Mountain area yet. Might as well go there.
this is going to be super fun for when the upload goes up and I have to do the description and everything and I have to do the title and the thumbnail because I'm going to bury the lead with that cutscene again because I'm pretty sure there's going to be something else that's going to happen by the end of this log that I'll deem more important to show off in the thumbnail anyways. That's a KV foreshadow for you. It's a foreshadow because I told you. Is that really for? Well, well, I guess in a way. I haven't told you what it is. I just told you that there's something else. So I guess that is foreshadowing. We'll, we'll just go with it for right now. We'll also go soaring through the sky, diving through the sky, gliding through the sky, lots of things in the sky. That's not another glyph over there, is it? No. Okay. There we go. Nice deep dive in. Ooh, there's a shrine there over there. I think we should hit up that there shrine. Again, this music for when you're uh, gliding down, gliding and diving down is so, is so good. It really like it captures this wondrous sense of of I guess free fall, which sounds kind of scary when you say it like that, but it also sounds kind of cool. Hey, I need I need your tail. Also, I need a picture of you. Also, a picture of that. Anyways, so yeah, can I have a... Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh. I was hoping I could, like, get it, like, spewing fire directly at the camera. But I think it, would, it wouldn't it would have worked out. Alright, give me your stuff. No, go, go away, fire choo-choo. Okay. Can, can you just go away, please? I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, okay. But it works! Also, whatever he had. Okay, well, I got some of it. And everything else I blew into the wind, so that was extremely stupid. Especially because it didn't give me the material I wanted, which was the red Lizolfo's tail, and that's gonna come back to bite me in the butt a lot later. I mean, it's going to bite me in the butt right now, too. But it's going to bite me in the butt many, many times. Also, these are hot springs. They recover health. Yay! Hello there, sir. How's the island turn up here? Major some kind of hot spring coming through or something. Sure, sure, there are hot springs in other places, but uh, there seems to be some stone springs. Had the best water before the engine got collapsed and you couldn't get in. Ah, uh, you know, in the caves the Gorko Tunnel. A top secret, you see, you gotta, well, you know. Don't worry about it. I can't ask you to have a code to fix it, and I can't clear it myself. Well, no matter where it's located, a hot spring is a hot spring. This one's pretty nice, though. After all, you can look into the mountain and all its scenic glory. Thanks, good sir. You're welcome. Now we're exploring Death Mountain. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. That's where the shrine is. That is also where a chasm hole is, apparently. The first... What do I even have stuck to that? What what is stuck to that? I can't tell. Uh well, something's wrong in Goron City because of the music. But we'll worry about that later. Also, we're not like burning alive here, which is good. 
a bit concerning, but but good. I mean, for us at least. About like like, if we're in the volcano area, we should be kind of like burning alive because you know volcano. But I guess not. It's shrine time. We've done sixty one already. My goodness. Wheel the Wonders. Oh, yay! It's been reactivated. Oh, but not that. I, I think it actually said Welded Wonders. Or, no, maybe it is wheels. Okay, so that should work, hopefully. I think this is the shrine I was spoiled on because someone had posted this in like on social media. Yep, this is it. So this is the the post of this is insane, the physics that were programmed for this game. Something it was something like that. So basically, we're gonna start this up. And then every single piece of the bridge is like has its own physics layer to react to the wheels pulling it. That's pretty nuts. I'm sure someone who understands game programming and physics engines could definitely give more light on the subject, but I remember this, some, some people were freaking out about how cool this was, and it is pretty cool. I just don't understand like the full length of how cool it is without understanding how it works better. Sorry. Yeah, folks in the comments have actually been good about like telling me stuff like that whole uh, thing about can I go up to the depths? I know on the on a previous log I, I brought it up again, but I know someone already answered by that point. And yeah, apparently you can ascend to the depths if you're if you're able to. Like that's that's nuts. So I'm curious what other people have to say about, like, that whole wheel bridge thing. Like, how, how does that work from programming standpoints? Alright, but I want that treasure chest. That's more important. Or I want the balls? There are balls there. Alright. Well, we'll take this first. That's easy enough. Can I not climb that? I cannot climb that. Alright. Try again. There we go. Mighty Construct Bow. That's the one that has a charge on it. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of that. We don't need a spike boko bow. But cobbling bows are like, take them if, if you have the space, but otherwise, ditch them. Worthless. Alright, so yeah, I, I immediately understand what they want me to do here. They want me to make that construction vehicle that scoops all the things. A scooper. I actually don't know what it's called. <laughs> the construction vehicle that... You know what? That's the nice thing about these logs. If I want, I can just go and check it up right now on my phone. So we'll go get our... Our light of blessing. Scooper construction vehicle. A front end wheel loader. Okay, wheel loaders, front loader, scoop, bucket loader, skip loader, payloader, or high lift. Okay, so. Actually, just calling it a scooper was fine. <laughs> Alright, Goron City, I just did your shrine. I helped you out with mining in that shrine, I guess, because I, I did 
I use the construction vehicle. But uh, how how are things going on here? I'm, I'm gonna go to the entrance so it looks like I came in through this way. So I'm not I'm not being rude. All right, now I'm properly entering the city. How's it going, everyone? Goron City. It's been a while. I know I've been busy. Uh. I'm glad you guys are eating. I don't like the color of your eyes. Okay. I don't know what this Marvel the Rock Roast is, but it looks pretty gross. Oh, okay. A thousand for a diamond. Okay. Wait. So I can't buy the diamonds from you because... You think the rock roast is better. Oh, 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 oh. I, well... I have some news for you. I don't think I can eat the rock roasts. Yeah, I'll take all of them. Okay, well, at least I can buy stuff from you. I don't really... I Well, I'll take all of them. I'm, I guess I'm a little low. 35 is pretty low. I have the capital to purchase them. Yeah, you know what? It, here you go. It, it, here's money to get some more rock roast or whatever. Hello? Does anyone live here? No? Okay. Hello there! Uh, I would like to buy some clothes, I guess? I could actually probably buy the entire set right now. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's that dirt cheap as you're saying, but whatever. I have I have the money. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna take it. Your your crunching is bothering me immensely. You're not that you're not allowed to crunch. It's just it sounds like you're going to destroy your teeth. And I know you Gorons eat rocks, but still. Good, good, yeah, good, goodbye. Okay, well, of all of you are extremely rude. Hello, you don't have the weird creepy eyes. Are you okay, sir? You're not, you just... Oh. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. I'm, I'm worried about that. They're gonna ruin their teeth. Hey, are you okay, buddy? Okay. Um, alright, so it's... What you're saying is that it's basically like a drug, and it's not good. It's a very addictive uh, thing that probably shouldn't be... Oh, yeah, massage sounds nice. I'm good for right now, though. My house full. I got an extra bit of stamina. I'm very concerned about. Well, you're not working right now. We we I I think we have. A, hello, are you okay, child? Minecart land? Oh, fair enough. Who, who's Django? <laughs> the face he made was like, I really don't know you. It's just like, hey man, go away. I don't know who you are. Leave me alone. The smartest kid in the entire Zelda franchise. 
Uh. Okay. Boulder Breaker? Oh, okay. Okay, so this marbled rock roast is just the worst thing ever, apparently. Okay, got it. Where is your apprentice? I'll go kick his butt. Okay, so yeah, I kind of ignored the center here. So what what in the butt is going on here? They're they're mining this? What? Hello? You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Apparently they are. That's Yonobo. Okay. There's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro. I don't know. I didn't know you became a mob boss and you're exporting addictive goods that you're like... Okay, there... What, what? what the heck is going on? <laughs> Okay, w w uh, well, I'm trying to, like, figure out problems and stuff. Yeah, like, maybe all the weird stuff you've mined up recently. Wait, what? Okay, but we've, we, we just established that Zelda's in the past, so what's going on here? Who are you talking about? Oh, man, yeah, oh. I, I feel that. I'm not as old as, as, uh, as Bluto there, but I still feel that. Okay, so Yonobo's lost it. Then he created Yonobu Co. Okay, you know, that's a good thing. Oh, okay, yeah, so again, it comes back to the, the problem thing. Okay, well, you know, that's just, that's just great. You know what? I can do that for you. Hey, 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 hey. Don't strain yourself anymore. I'll take care of this. <laughs> Yonobo's profile's been added. So Yonobo was actually kind of like a coward in the previous game. So I don't know why he became a mob boss. Yeah, blow, blow up the marble rock roast. Dang it. It's indestructible. Also, I think we completely killed Bluto's back for reals. Young Goron, who once saved his home with Link. After helping Goron City, he turned his attention to mining or made accessible when Death Mountain stopped erupting. He formed Yonobu Co. with a group of uh, admirers in order to bring continued prosperity to his people. He was once a kind and compassionate young Goron. Y yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, um... 
He's got a luchador mask on. He, he He's dressed like a mob boss. He's basically treating everyone like dirt. I don't care if he's my friend. I'm going to go beat him up. Okay, uh... Well, I sometimes read them. I mean, I help write for the paper, but I'm kind of, like, busy all the time. The, the mystery... Oh, really? They used to live underground. Okay. Grandia. Really? Okay, well, good luck to you on that. Wait, I thought you were a reporter. You don't work for the Lucky Clover Gazette? Got a friend there named Penn. I do look like that Link fella. Oh, well, thank you for not telling me that. I appreciate it. I'm going to be honest, of all of the places that are quote-unquote cursed, I think I like this one the most because it's just so bizarre. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I get I get that sense too. Did did they put a minecart like up here? It looks like the minecarts are just fine down there. Hey, what's nothing off here? Uh, okay. I, I think there's problems going on, but you know, to each their own, I suppose. Okay. Well, luckily for me, I have my ways of persuasion. I do like that they redesigned the minecarts in mind of how the Zoan devices work. That was a really cool touch. Also, someone... There, what? Who took that minecarts? Where did it come from? We just don't know. Alright, so, hey, uh... You know, Boko HQ and everything. How's it going? How's it going, people? There's a journal here. Yep. Well, that's just nice. That's nice that they're... It's nice that they're able to get other people to help them out the mining operation and that they're being inclusive by giving them methods to help out. But, uh, so this is the HQ, right? Oh, well, I already have that. Hey, can you tell me where the president is? Maybe I'm... No. I don't need to ask him. He's just the secretary. He won't know anything, probably. Or more, so or more likely, I'm like, this is getting close to being way too long of a log. I should end it off here. I'm not going to talk to him, because that will advance the plot. And you've already advanced the plot quite a bit this log. I'm getting that one... memory to... oh, hello. What he is? Well, I want to see the blonde lady. Because if the blonde lady who I think it is, then I'm going to have questions. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry, I got... this gear. I want to do some sick tricks in here. Whee! Also, I think just putting the pants on doesn't help. I 
decided to advance the story anyways. Oh, it is Zelda! Okay. What the heck? More of that weird stuff. I'm on fire! Um, I don't think that's Zelda. I, I don't think it is Zelda, but alright. Um... <laughs> I also- I think I have a weapon that's also not fireproof. That's probably stupid. Okay, no, 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 that- flame, that, that works just fine, just with the pants on. I'm trying to think strategically of what, what the best defense I have right now is. Okay. Oh! That, the thing I decided to, to roll in on was not a good idea. Okay. Anyways, yeah, clearly not yourself. Unovo... Oh, I don't have sword beams. I thought I did for some reason. Actually, I do. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's get that thing off. It is, uh... Not the fashion statement you think it is. Also, I'm... what? When do you get hurts? There you go. When, when you have... when you have the... the stars. This is a really funky battle theme, too. It's kind of funny that you get... You, like, you actually get to fight one of these... these guys. Like, of all of them, I kind of would expect it would have been, like, Sidon, or another one we haven't seen yet. But, no, we're fighting Yonobo. I think that's really funny. Also, I love that, like, it looks like Link has a unique animation for getting run over by Yonobo specifically, for when he gets thrown in the air like that. Yeah, there's no more sword beams, because they're not full health. Yeah, uh, pass me. There we go. Oh, well, you know, just, just striking him. There we go. Got rid of the weird, weird luchador mask. I will admit, it did look kind of slightly neat, but it wasn't you. The jacket, though. You can keep the jacket. Jacket's pretty cool. Oh, I guess you're just not going to keep the jacket. She's right there, apparently. Oh, no. Oh no, but the place caved in! Ah, oh, it sure was nice of her, the great, nice, kind, and caring Princess Zelda we all know. Definitely, definitely Princess Zelda. I'm good, are you okay? Oh, we got the sparkles. It's the sparkles. They, they've happened a few times. I'm sure you haven't heard them before now, but... Alright, so here's Yunobo's power. Yunobo's power is extremely useful because... It'll bust up rock wells like nothing. Here I go. Let's... Fantastic ability for exploration. Huh. Oh, but I wanted to break the rest of the rocks in here. Dang it. Well, let's go see if they'll meet with this Princess Zelda and find out that yeah, I'm I'm not seeing her either. What? How long has that been there? Aww. 
Interesting. Oh. Well then. Well, at least he's back to his nice, kind self. Well, sure. I mean, I'm loving for Princess Zelda as it is, so let's do it. There we go. A young Goron with big ambitions. After saving Goron City of Link, he turned his attention to... The... Okay. After his suspicious mask was removed, he returned to his compassion itself. I believe he still has the exact same voice actor he did in the previous game who also voiced Daruk in that game as well, and A-plus job. What a fantastic actor. Love their work. I hope they get, I hope they can meet some of these VAs someday. They're, they're just so cool, and they deserve all the praise they do for the great work they do. And they also should not be, uh, you know, the conversation that's going on right now, unfortunately, about the stupid Hollywood being stupid. But I don't have enough time to explain that right now, so maybe another time. For right now, though, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Don't have to, you don't want to, but it's always appreciated. By Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, if you like the game, here's the Cannonsville Nintendo Switch. Go pick it up if you haven't already. Super fun and super amazing. Lots of great performances and lots of great exploration to be had. We still have a lot to do now. It's going to be fun, fun, fun from here. Of course, though, most importantly, I hope you all have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao.